हेलो वन वेलकम टू पार्ट फाइव ऑफ लारवल सिक्स बेसिक्स राउटिंग एंड दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू डू राउट मॉडल बिल्ड बाइंडिंग ओके सो दिस वन राउट मॉडल बाइंडिंग एंड सो अप टिल नाउ व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी हैव सीन इन ई कॉम सीरीज दैट वी आर डूइंग राउट्स विद कंट्रोलर मींस वी आर डूइंग एनी पेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ Uh, route uh, with the help of controller with the help of model and uh, with the help of uh, of blade file okay but now the things will be different now we will not use any controller okay so we will just use model and that model also we are going to do, uh, means include model in route itself and uh, from that we are we can directly uh, means send the output to our blade file without using any kind of controller okay so uh, i am going to show you in e-commerce series what we have done there and what we uh, we can do in this thing i will also open the, that another one here file open recent ecom series sample 6 okay here uh, i will show you see here now here all the controllers you all the routes you can see uh, are having uh, some controller and like uh, like this one we can pick this one products or product this is the detail page route this is the listing page route even even the index page even the index page you can see uh, this one index page is also having some controller but uh, but uh, this one we can also uh, do without any controller we we not require any kind of controller we can directly uh, send the blade file by making uh, the function here though we are not using any model here so we can pick uh, some products controller here see here we don't require any kind of controller we can directly uh, make function here we can directly call model uh, product model here and can get the result uh, we can uh, send the blade file i will tell you how uh, see the products controller see for this one uh, we have made this product function okay so this one is the product function see not that much means we will uh, this, this is just an example we will not do that much task there but small function like we are doing some kind of basic thing like uh, getting the data from the table and just printing it out without doing any kind of uh, another stuff then we can avoid such kind of functions then we can uh, just simply call this function here only from the model itself okay so i am going to tell you that how we are going to achieve this thing uh, in laravel 6 uh, this uh, website you just need to install the laravel 6 and can do this kind of test in your new laravel 6 okay so uh, what i am going to do uh, see there are also two ways implicit way uh, of binding and uh, explicit way of binding there are two ways but, but their purpose are same purpose is like uh, in uh, in your route you just not required any kind of controller you can directly do anything here and can make the blade file and can uh, get the result there without using any kind of controller without using any kind of functions in controller means you will not use controller at all okay so the purpose is same uh, so first of all we are going to do the implicit way uh, and we need to make sure that we have uh, we are having some kind of table i am going to check uh the uh, that we are having some table or not uh, okay this laravel 6 uh, we have made any kind of uh, connection i am going to check here laravel database is there so i can open laravel database is there or not no 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 laravel database so we can make one database there if we are not having we are not having i think so we can make one database laravel okay so we can create this database okay so uh, we can create one table also uh, we can create one table uh, we can create model also so that uh, we can get those result uh, from that table okay so we can create a uh, user table uh, so what we can do we can run that php artisan migrate command so that table will automatically create use user table can automatically create uh i'm going to run this project once again from zamp stdocs 
my uh, see here it is so i'm going to do like this you can uh, run uh, in your uh, if you are using windows you can uh, simply click on right click git bash okay so here i'm going to uh, php artisan migrate i'm going to run this command and we'll see if i will get the users table by default see we have got the users table so i can create one model also p p artisan uh, make model uh, first i'm going to check that uh, by default uh, the model has been created or not see the model has been created by default okay so uh, now the thing is uh, we want to insert some entry into it, some record into it i'm going to uh, add one record amit amit hunter at the top viewmail.com and uh, that is enough okay uh, anything not required uh, okay so this scene so now uh, what i am going to do uh, i am going to fetch this record uh, directly from route without using any function without using any controller i am going to uh, means uh, show result in uh, our blade file okay first of all without blade file we are going to check uh, with this one okay without using any kind of blade file uh, see here straight away uh, we are using uh, the product model here i'm going to show see here we are using directly product model here app user user is our model and we are getting this uh, from uh, our id and we will uh, show this one so let's see uh, here i am going to uh, check uh, api users see here i will use the user id so id it will pick uh, id by default okay so here it will pick id by default uh, here id will go by default okay we can also change we, we will do later on uh, but here i am going to check that whether uh, it will uh, show the email or not and uh, nothing is uh, coming uh, we need to check what is the issue here uh, i i also need to comment all these what whatever we have done earlier because they might conflict so i just need to comment uh, all the code oh, okay we can we can comment like this one by one because we might require any code anytime this one okay so this one we are using see now okay now this one is coming you can check that uh, it is fetching the email id uh, you can see we are getting this from the prep model itself and it is fetching the email id from the id and id it is picking by default and but we can change this uh, this thing we can change uh, see we can customize this thing uh, just we need to add uh, in model uh, we just need to add uh, the uh, means column name whatever uh, we want uh, whatever we want to get from so here in user model i am going to add this one but here i will use uh, name instead of slug slug is just an example here uh, we are having name also now we want to fetch with the name amit okay so here i am going to show you that if i will do now enter now it will not uh, execute anything because one is not there now amit is there now we will get the result once again okay so now we can simply return this one to our blade file okay like we always used to do because this is not enough um, uh, means this is uh, this is um, nothing you need to send this result to the blade file at least because otherwise uh, the, uh, it will not solve your, your purpose okay so for sending the blade file you need to return this one in blade file we need to create one blade file as well 
okay so now we will see that whether we are having any blade file no we are not having any blade file we are having about but we will create one more blade file i am going to create one blade file in uh, views new file we can create control uh, okay i will create the blade file uh, I, I will create the blade file from here laravel 6 okay so what i can do i can create that bit file same kind of bit file about so i'm going to create a file save as i'm going to make give its name user okay so now uh, see uh, now here uh, title you can remove this title but here uh, we can pass that uh, whatever uh, email we are passing like something we can pass here uh, but first of all we need to uh, return that thing from there here from here we are going to pass uh, okay so here uh, we will do like this uh, we are going to this one we can comment okay so instead of this one uh, we are going to use return view like we always used to do like this return view and the blade file name is user okay now we are trying to use user but we want to uh, return this email as well to that user blade file so for that um, i need to add here array in array we can do here email email in email we are going to send this dollar user email like this okay so this one you can add it like this now uh, now we can uh, able to uh, fetch the email here okay so now you can just simply refresh here and you can check that this one is coming from the email if this one is not coming here uh, so you can add uh, your email is or user email is anything user email is this much and this one will come here as well okay so here you can check it out that in blade file uh, these classes you can use uh, and make it better like laravel okay so that uh, it will look good uh, i don't know exactly content class like you use uh, here div, div content okay it is coming in center uh, title class is also there you can uh, make it bigger along with and okay see user email is amit at the of .com. this is just an example okay you your means you can any design you can get the results just from your route and uh, just and the model okay no controller is required okay so there is another way of achieving this thing you now know that how to fetch the records from the route itself we can make it without using any function from controller okay now there is another way explicit way also and in this way uh, just you need to uh, add one uh, means you need to add the model here in route service provider uh, you can search and get this one route service provider and here uh, you can add like this this user model you can add in boot okay after parent boot you can add this user model here and and after that you can repeat the same steps okay like we have done there just the it's different and here you can do it like this and this one i can comment okay so now here you can simply return here okay we can simply return here return uh dollar user email okay email we want to return so now we can check it out here i am passing amit uh, okay from amit uh, see sorry profile and amit okay 
here we'll pass profile and omit and omit okay so uh, app user does not exist uh, app user we will check user providers app user does not exist we will check why it is coming like this we are missing some step i think uh, something is wrong here uh, we need to use u in caps because our model name is like this u in caps now we can try again now you can see we are getting our email once again so now here from here also we can do like this so explicit way and implicit way both uh, uh, show the same result and you can also customize the uh, explicit way as well you can add uh, more details in your query means uh, you can add whatever you want in your in your query in your uh, you can update here okay so uh, that is set that you can use i think you can use the implicit way if you want yeah this is fine without using the controller small uh, like you just simply want to get the data from your table like all the users you want to get in uh, in your bread file then without using any, any controller you can simply get from your route okay so this one you can try at your end so in next video we will do more in routing some of the things are left in routing and we will try uh, to cover in next video and some uh, really fallback routes rate limiting form methods woofing assessing the current route where we are going to do in next video so stay tuned for that and if you have any query you can surely contact me in video description okay then that's all for now have a nice time goodbye